All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it's your buddy, Mr. G. Today we are talking about big ideas and essential questions, okay? What does that mean? So big ideas are going to be the plan that we are going to use to put together our series of illustrations that we are going to have in this semester of Digital Art 3, okay? Long story short, you're going to do a series of illustrations. You're going to do four illustrations, and they're all going to be tied together. They're going to be tied around this big idea, so you're going to come up with an idea that is a strong concept that you're going to tie the four illustrations together that you're going to do. Okay? That's the gist of this course. Okay? All right. So, big ideas. Okay? What are they? Why do we need them? And all that. All right? So, big ideas involve big, broad categories. Think big philosophical issues, power, family, pride, conflict, emotion, environmental concerns that are concerned with human issues or concerns. Okay? They capture essential and enduring themes of human life, like freedom. Now, when I say freedom, there's lots of different ways you could do it talk about it. So uh, I could say like freedom, you know, I could talk about social freedom or physical freedom or political freedom or even financial freedom. Uh, but there's different ways you can come at that. Uh, same thing, power. Um, who has it? Who doesn't? What does it affect on people who have it, who do not have it? Uh, justice. This year we've had a lot of uh, social justice issues. Uh, there have been worldwide protests in every major city in the world um, concerning uh, racial injustice and other uh, topics. Um, same thing. Who has justice? Who doesn't? Uh, you can talk about social, moral, legal, even fictional justice uh, could be uh, something you attack. Okay? So you're going to create a big idea. Okay? And again, why are we doing this? It is going to provide an artistic focus. It's going to show that you have a conceptual understanding of a topic. Um, you're going to address important human issues or concern. It's going to be the launch pad for developing new ideas. This will be a tool that you might go on to use in other classes. Um, you will ultimately help you develop, develop new ideas around a strong central theme is the whole point. Okay. Your big idea, I really like the idea of conceptual Velcro. It is the thing that holds the ideas and concepts of a series of artwork together. Now, there's other aspects that hold together, like this series here has, you know, obviously color and stylistically and uh, imagery that all tie it together. But the big idea is what ties uh, your work together. All right. Second part of your big idea, essential questions. Essential questions helps tease out the aspects of the big idea, helps you to further explore your big idea. It should be complex. It shouldn't be a yes or no question. Uh, it should be exploratory in nature. Uh, it is probably not an art question, okay? Most of this is going to apply to a big spectrum of ways to answer this. Uh, you will keep digging, asking questions and jotting notes and drawing sketches around your big idea until you find something that inspires you to create an image. All right, so we're gonna practice. We're gonna do this a few times, okay? And then we'll go over it and I'll give you some subjects at the end. All right, so if we take a subject like time, so we take a big theme like time and we first we're gonna brainstorm around time because there's lots of different ways when I say time, if I asked you all just to do a illustration or a image about time, you would all, if I had 25 kids in my class, I'd have 25 different answers for that because it's a really big philosophical kind of topic, okay? Um, some of you might think of like physical clocks, just clocks and watches. Uh, some of you might think of like the uh, past or history class. Um, some people might think about decay or ravage or morality and like, you know, time is infinite and it's ongoing, but we have a finite amount of time that we're living in these bodies. Um, uh, you can think about legacy and family legacy and the, as it goes on through time, what, you know, what is your legacy that you will leave? Um, let's go with uh, the value of time down here. Okay, so if we go with time as value, okay, that's my big idea, okay? So now you got your big idea, what do you do with it now, okay? What we're gonna do 
we're going to craft that into a statement. Okay, it should imply some kind of action, movement, or goal. So we're going to say we should value time as a precious resource. That is my big idea statement. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be incredibly wordy. It should, you know, explain what you're driving at, though. Okay, and like I said, it should imply some kind of action. Okay, all right. So we take we should value time as a precious resource. Okay, we're going to start building some equi an essential questions around that big idea. Okay, we're going to start jotting down questions that explore that idea. Okay, so if I start putting down some questions, all right, around that idea of time as a precious resource. What could I ask about that? How does the construction of time affect our daily lives and outcomes? If time is the most precious of resources, how can we better utilize it? How can I explore the concept of time as a concrete thing? If you were going to visually represent time, how could you make a visual representation of that? Um, how do your actions affect the value of our future? Is it possible to collect a bank of time? I like that idea of a bank of time and the imagery that could be involved there. Um, how could I translate the idea of time is money? Um, that's interesting to me. Uh, if it's valuable, then let's assign a monetary value to it. How can we visually represent that? Um, all right, so after we get those questions, we start coming up with ideas and visuals, like while you're doing it. While you're writing some of these questions, you'll have visuals, okay? And you'll think of ways that you can visually represent these in your work, okay? You could do these in a myriad of different ways. I want to really impress upon you that you can do this in any style. Uh, it is wide open on what you do as far as in this class, your subject matter. You guys, I want you to find things that you're interested in and help drive your pieces. If you're working on something you're really interested in, you're going to learn more uh, and you're going to work harder at it and you're going to enjoy it more. Okay. So if you're into comic books, okay, maybe I do a series of comic books with the heroes combating time. Time is time of like force like it is in Star Wars or is it a physical being or personification of time? Is it a bad guy? I could use the idea of the White Rabbit and Alice in Wonderland and I could do uh, my series of illustrations all depicting this white rabbit as a central character going through things. Um, I could do a series of monster illustrations all built upon the elements of time. Um, what do the elements, what are the elements? And then there's another essential question there. What are the elements of time that make it value? Um, create a cartoon series with characters humorously dealing with time issues. Uh, do abstract images with the elements of quantum physics and get really philosophical with it. Um, create a series of political illustrations, depending on time crushing economies and countries and politicians. Okay. So those are some different things that you could do with it. Some of you are still going to be confused and not really know what to do. Okay. So we're going to do this again. Let's do another example. Okay. Let's take the theme of environment. Okay. First thing you do, you come up with a theme. Okay. After you have your theme, then you're going to brainstorm. Okay. If I'm going to brainstorm about environment, I could look at it all kinds of different ways. We could talk about, you know, the exploitation of the environment or the preservation, urban sprawl, deforestation, glacial melt, finding new energies, global warming. Uh, you could talk about it just as exploring the beauty of the environment. Um, let's go with uh, global warming here. Okay. Choose your big idea and craft it into a statement. Okay. Remember, it should reply, uh, imply an action or goal. Okay. Stopping, glooming war stopping global warming is going to be our statement. Okay. We're going to investigate your idea with questions that explore. So we're going to make essential questions. Okay. So how can global warming be brought to the forefront of politics? Again, these aren't always going to be art questions. Uh, how can science help to promote good environmental responsibility? How do you convince the public of the reality of global warming? Uh, how will our lack of urgency in addressing the issues affect the future? Is it possible to correct our current path? Can I start a campaign to locally or in, make an environmental difference in my own local neighborhood? Okay. These are essential questions around our big idea. Okay. Then what are you going to do with it? What can I do with that? Okay. Start jotting out ideas for sketches. Okay. If I was going to do that. Okay. You know what? I think, you know, the Lorax, that is a story that essentially is about environment, okay? What if I redid that? I really like manga art, and I want to redo this in like a kawaii kind of style or manga illustration style of a retelling of the Lorax. Um, I could do a series of illustrations 
of animals in threatened areas um, that represent threatened areas, like a polar bear made out of melting glaciers in a series like that. Um, before and after images of beautiful like forests, like the beautiful uh, rainforest before, and then afterwards I have this post-apocalyptic, you know, kind of like a before and after weight loss picture. Uh, we do images of future generations trapped in the world we're building. Uh, create a cartoon series with characters humorously dealing with environmental issues like Hobart, the oil-soaked penguin and all his antics with the environment. Ha, ha, ha. Do abstract images of industry devouring nature, factories like eating forests and lakes and rivers. Uh, create a series of logos and products sarcastically promoting poor environmental products. I thought this up as I was making this, you know. You could have like, you know, a spray bottle, you know, and it's like a cleaner with a cheesy model and a big grin and she's got it and it says, now made with, you know, the melting ice of glaciers with 50% more deforestation, you know, and I could do these sarcastic tongue in cheek illustrations like that. All right, so that's how we're gonna go through this process. Once you have a strong theme, these ideas will come to you, okay? We're gonna be ongoing and gonna keep doing these, okay? Getting started, it's a process. You're gonna take a deep breath and take it step by step, okay? You're gonna start with that theme, okay? Then you're gonna brainstorm around that theme, okay? You'll derive a big idea from your brainstorming activity, make it a statement. You'll come up with essential questions, investigating that big idea, and then you'll sketch out ideas to represent your investigation. Some of these sketches will go on to be the framework or your finished illustrations and images, okay? This, as I said, will be ongoing. You will continue to explore essential questions and your big idea. All right, so I want you to choose one of the themes that I have up here. Power, pride, conflict, emotion, environment, community, identity, time, music, transformation, justice, value, or relationships. Pick one of those and brainstorm around it and come up with your big idea and as many supporting essential questions as you can. That is your assignment for our next live meeting, okay? I want you to have that prepared. Every week you will continue to build on this big idea and suggestions for illustrations, ideas, and sketches, all right? So I will uh, go over that more later and I will see you at a later date. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Stay creative.